Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about uh, what radiator to use in your V8 Swap Ranger. So I spent some time looking around on this and decided a while back to go with just the stock radiator and it worked pretty well. Uh, so I'm replacing the radiator out of necessity, not necessarily because I wanted to, uh, but I'll show you what I'm doing and what radiator I got. All right, so here's the stock. This is just the four liter V6 radiator. And I was using this with the six liter V8 and it was actually working pretty well. I never really had any overheating issues. Uh, I did take it on some kind of longer trips, probably 30, 40 minutes and drove it around. Never really had any overheating issues. Uh, but unfortunately I did get a hole in the radiator and I tried to repair it with some uh, aluminum brazing rod and JB weld just to get it by for a little bit and it didn't really work so I ended up buying a new one. So here's the new one and I don't know if you can tell but they're very similar. They're almost exactly alike. So the major difference is the thickness on the top. So this is twice as thick as this one here stock v6 and this is double thick so this is actually from a five liter v8 explorer so these are in the explorers and mountaineers i got this on ebay for like 70 bucks so basically like all of the hoses everything is exactly the same so this explorer radiator is going to mount right into the truck same mounting points same uh same hoses, pretty much same everything. But there is one little change I'm gonna have to make. You can see these little flanges that stick out. This is the, the stock Ranger, and this is like right on the back. And this is the one from the Explorer, and this is in the center. So basically to get this uh, mounting point matched up right, I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of this off just like I did here. I just took a cutoff wheel on a grinder and sliced it right off made a little notch in there. So now basically that notch point is right in the middle where it needs to be and it'll line up perfectly. But other than that, that's that's pretty much it. And it even has the same uh, transmission cooler line hookup location. So everything is just gonna go right back in. It'll probably take 10 minutes to put it in and it'll be done. So obviously what I really like about this is that it is a little bit thicker, so I will have some more cooling capacity, so that's always nice, even though I wasn't really too worried about it before, didn't really have any other problems, um, but a little bit of extra should always be nice. I'll throw a little fan on it, I know it'll be perfect. So, and that's a 6 liter engine, so if you're doing like a 5.3 or a 4.8 or something else like a little bit smaller, then you know it would work really well. Um, same mounting locations. It's just going to bolt right in, so I don't have to do any mod modifications. Um, I had, the last swap that I did, I had to like cut up a bunch of stuff and like really make it work. This will just bolt right in, and it'll be perfect. The other thing I would say I can't really complain about is the price point. I think it was seventy nine dollars is what I paid for it. Um, the, there's a wide range online of the price of these things. I've seen them uh, like in the couple hundreds of dollars. So look around, find the cheap one. They're all the same, and run it. All right, so there it is. It's all installed now. I just got to put the bottom holes back on. But as you can see, it's pretty nice, nice and big. I'll show you the little tab. So that tab down there, you can see that's where it was cut off a little bit, but fits perfect inside there. Nice and snug. Should be pretty good. All right, guys, so that's about it for today. That only took about a half hour, nice and quick. Cooling should be a lot better. Just had to trim those tabs off. Everything else goes in really nice. Um, I think I'm going to leave a fan off of it for a little while. I don't have the clutch fan on the motor anymore, so I'm going to see how it does without a fan. I will put one on, but I think I just want to test it and see what it does without a fan on it. Um, other than that, that's it for today. Be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And as always... Keep your hands dirty and your nose clean. Have a good one.